Six years ago, KPIX was the first to expose a workaround in California's gun laws that allowed military-style rifles like ARs to proliferate in the state. But the laws changed, and now those guns are considered assault weapons that have to be registered. Only on five, a deadline is fast approaching, and the registration process appears to have hit some roadblocks. This is a firearm that has been kicked back three times in the application process. Jay Jacobson's a gun manufacturer, so he knows his firearms. Yet his attempt to register some personal rifles on the California state website has him stumped. I believe they're maybe calling this a telescoping stock. It is a fixed stock. Other than that, I can't figure out why they have not allowed this to go through. And what's frustrating is they don't bother to tell you. Meanwhile, the deadline is looming. Under a new California law, all semi-automatic rifles with a feature called a bullet button have to be registered by June 30th. It's a release mechanism that was designed as a workaround to the state's assault weapons ban, which forbids detachable magazines. Since the bullet button requires a tool, usually the tip of a bullet, to release the magazine, it was considered fixed and therefore legal. Then San Bernardino happened. The shooters, who massacred 14 people and wounded 21 others, were armed with bullet button ARs, finally swaying state lawmakers and the governor to change the law. Please identify what your concern is or give me a call. But Jay says staying legal is not an easy task. His application for one rifle has been rejected three times. Everybody that's doing this is doing so to comply. They're, they're, they have a willingness to follow the law. and yet they're making it as difficult as possible. We put in a public records request with the Department of Justice a month ago to find out how many gun owners have registered their bullet button ARs. Still no response. A spokesperson told us on the phone that no information would be released until after the July 1st deadline passes. They don't know. Plain and simple. Travis Morgan owns Guns, Fishing and Other Stuff, a gun store and shooting range in Vacaville. He says many customers who own bullet button guns aren't even trying to register them. There's too much of a drawback to it. I have been told in the regulations that if you register your gun as an assault weapon, DOJ has the right to search your house at any point in time they feel like it. I don't want them in my house. Instead, he says he and most of his customers are going featureless. If you take off certain features like a collapsible stock, a pistol grip and a flash suppressor, a gun with a detachable magazine is no longer considered an assault weapon. They're all workarounds some, of some sort. Travis showed us several new California legal models that are now for sale in his store. Basically, Baker's Choice, what do you want? It's amazing, uh, the creativity and ways they find around our definitions and laws. As legislative advocate for the Brady campaign to prevent gun violence, Amanda Wilcox was instrumental in passing the new gun registration law. We've passed and updated our assault weapons law now four times. We've never confiscated the weapons. We've grandfathered them in. Amanda's daughter, Laura, was 21 when she was killed in a mass shooting in 2001. Since then, 54 others have died in mass shootings in California. But overall, gun deaths have dropped 56 percent, a bigger decline than any other state something Amanda attributes to our strict laws. Every time we bring down that number, that's someone's life who is saved. As for possible delays in the registration process? I'm quite certain just out of, um, sort of, out, of I, out of protests that many are, will choose or are choosing to register at the last minute. Jay Jacobson insists he's not trying to sabotage anything, quite the contrary. He's been trying to complete his registration with the DOJ since April. Their uh, department counsel is not aware of what will happen with the, uh, those that, s that submit before the deadline. So I, I don't know what's going to happen to those uh, folks, or, which could include myself at this point. He's hoping that shedding a light on the problem will provide answers. We checked in with Jay today. He says he can't even get on the registration site anymore to check his status. I tried. I had the same experience. The deadline, a day away. If you have a news tip that you would like us to investigate, send us an email at newstips at kpix.com.